What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel where you're about to enter the flying zone of the Hollywood Eagle. I am here at the Reading Market again. It's a great place. Special guest here. Hello, I'm Marissa. And trying out the Miller's Twist. This is one of another recommendation that was recommended to us to try out. They say they're really good. so. I'm going to try it out here. These things are massive. Yes. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. This is just their classic with salt. Break off a piece and try it out for you. Try to get a small piece, but I doubt that's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing as a small piece with the Miller's pretzels. I think with pretty much you, anything around here. Do you want me to grab a small piece too? Sure. Okay. Yep. I washed my that hands. That works. <laughs> All right. So trying out the Miller's Twist Classic Pretzel. That is, I'm so used to the hard crunchy uh, pretzels where I'm from. And it's nice and soft. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to actually get one that's not like what we have. Like I said, I always get bags of the, of the hard little small pretzels and I don't like those. And it has just the right amount of salt on yeah. it, too. It's not too salty. It doesn't have that much salt. Yeah. You might want to dip this in cheese, too. I think that would be good. I bet you the cheese would add yeah. to the would add to the flavor, for sure. Yeah. Best uh, salt pretzel I've ever had. I think <laughs> this is the only place that you can find it at, too. Yeah. Miller's Twist. And if you guys want to see what it looks like, there you go. And if there's any contact information with them, I'll make sure to drop that down in the comment section or the description guide for you guys. I would have to say on a scale from a one to a hundred, because I changed my ratings. It was one to ten, now it's one to a hundred. I would have to give the Miller's Twist Classic Pretzel. The same thing I did with the Philly cheesesteak. I'm going to have to go to straight 100. I mean, it's baked just the way it, I was anticipating, and it has the right amount of salt. Yeah, good job, Philadelphia. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. I'll that, give it 100 too, Josh. There you go. <laughs> That is the review for today. Thank you all for checking out the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Uh, always respond to those every time. Any suggestions? And until next time, everyone, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let's keep those eagles flying.